In 2008, John Innes Centre scientists published research on tomatoes with high levels of health-giving anthocyanins. The health benefits that we have observed in animals have been using disease models in mice and uh, there we have shown that there's an extension of uh, lifespan in animals that are particularly prone to cancer. There was a 30% extension in lifespan. Interest since 2008 has been so great that the scientists have been exploring how they can bring these purple tomatoes to market within the current regulatory frameworks. Our positioning being in Canada is uh, quite strong, not only from a standpoint of, of the regulatory process is, um, is, is, is more understanding of certain products like this, but also we have a very vibrant, strong market inside of the North American population, as well as that we can be, we feel, as primary producers of a product like this can be competitive globally. In Canada, they regulate the trait and not the technology that's used to develop the trait. So it's the high anthocyanin health beneficial properties that are under regulatory scrutiny and not the fact that they're GM. When we make the juice, we remove all the seeds. So it's then no longer a risk of an environmental uh, escape. We uh, then have a, a product that we can take to, for regulatory approval, something that people can see and can say, is this safe or not? While it's still fruit, it's very difficult to uh, get regulatory approval. This tomato that I'm holding here, the cost to produce this, that it would be sold to the public, would be at a fraction of the cost that it would be for elderberries that in many cases aren't available. Um, only seasonally throughout, throughout different markets. So, so there's a lot of advantages to this opportunity. New energy farms in Canada have now grown and harvested enough of the tomatoes to make 2,000 litres of the juice. This juice will be used for further research, to generate interest from investors and to start the process of seeking regulatory authorization to bring a commercial juice to the market. The future of agriculture has always been genetics. Moving forward into the future, will be, I believe, products like this to be able to be in a situation where that we could not only be providing whole foods that, that sustain life, but actually take it to the next level and also improve that life at a much larger and grandiose scale.